Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the star line by members of the multi-platinum super group with 50 number one hits, 160 gold and platinum albums throughout 35 countries. The A New Day holiday tour continues supporting a new Christmas EP. We welcome the members of El Divo. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Friends, Good morning. let's go beyond the mic. 20 years of singing, touring, and brotherhood. What makes this group so strong? Well, I think you said it just there. 20 years of touring has um, has really created a, a bond uh, for this band that, um, you know, most bands don't really get to experience. We've been through so many things from... Um, our inception, the recording process, being on TV shows, going on tours, world tours. Um, and most recently, uh, a couple of years ago, losing one of our band members, uh, which was actually probably one of the most bonding moments for the three of us. Um, bringing in a new member, recording, continuing on. Um, the music needs us, the work needs us. So we just keep going. You've recorded songs in Spanish, Italian, French, Portuguese, Latin, English, and Japanese. Why was it important for your identity to spread your music in this way? I think it's just uh, from the beginning on, because on the first album, we did a lot of covers. Actually, you know, we, we kept doing that. We also had a lot of original songs, but it was from the beginning on a way to set our version of the song apart from the original one. You know, our big hit where we started off with was uh, Tony Braxton's Unbreak My Heart, which in our Spanish version is called Regresa a Mi. And it's a different song, you know, in El Divo. And I think uh, we just kept this because it was, it was just a way really of taking a song out of the original universe and move it into ours and make it our own. Gentlemen, how's this experience changed your life? Tremendously. I, mean, <laughs> I can only speak for myself. Uh, you know, I was living in Paris and France and I never thought I would be seeing the world. That was a dream of mine. And um, when I was asked to join the band, it was uh, honestly a, a tremendous opportunity to expand also not only the way of singing but uh, experiencing different cultures seeing different people around the world i think it has completely changed each and every one of us from where we're from and seeing things in a more, much wider way um but not only just um emotionally or spiritually but also i'm talking musically you know the way that we approach our music the way that we go on stage the way that we perform um or for example six 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 seven languages so can already uh, address to an audience pretty much around the world and uh gets his way around david speaks a few languages uh the last time we were in japan and we were uh, we we're both trying to you know he spoke really well he, uh, japanese and for me i was trying to get my way through it <laughs> um, we're trying to really adapt to an audience as well to make them uh, understand that we really care uh wherever we go we really try to make sure that they understand what we have to say, make them part of our music. They are on the New Day Holiday Tour. El Devo joins us beyond the mic for the Rocking Eight. Friends, all this is is eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. There is no pressure. Who dresses the best of the four of you? Or Me. Really? That was fast. Thank you. <laughs> Which one makes everyone laugh? Sebastian. Me. <laughs> Why? Sebastian, because he doesn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Of the cities you visited, which is the one you didn't think you'd like, but you fell in love with? Ooh. Oh, that's a tough one. Seoul, South Korea. Taiwan. Taipei, yeah. Come yeah. On. Taipei. Pick one. Pick one. Uh, you go first. I don't know. Istanbul. Oh, that's a good one. It <laughs> I don't know. How about your favorite song to sing that isn't yours? Oh, Ness and Dorma. Like a virgin. <laughs> How about your favorite of all the albums? The Promise. I want to know what Stevens is because you're new. Uh, Double X. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a very naughty dream. <laughs> exactly. So, who's the practical joker? David. What? <laughs> True. You got to sing a lot. What's the best way to recover your voice after a night of singing? Sleeping. Going out. Shut up. Hydration. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the one person who influenced you the most? David. David. 
<laughs> no, the, um, N- Nelson Mandela. Oh, wow. And the uh, Dalai Lama. Wow. I, I was not expecting. Are you trying to make us laugh again? No. <laughs> I'm being really serious. Wow. Can't compete with that. Uh, yeah. It's time for one big question with the members of El Devo be on the mic. Why does music touch your soul? Oh, that's not deep at all. <laughs> um, I think that, uh, well, from my perspective, um, you know, I, before I found music, I was really headed for the maths and sciences. And if you look at like, you know, kind of what uh, quantum physics is uh, expressing right now, you know, all of life is basically vibration, different vibrational uh, packages that we can see with our eyes and hear with our ears and feel with our skin, et cetera, et cetera. And I think the intentional creation using vibrations in certain ways to evoke certain emotions is one of the highest forms of creativity that we have. And I think it reaches everyone universally. Uh, for me, I really like, uh, music that really sends you on a journey. So when you, you know, when it has like a big lift and then, you know, being able to like feel those vibrations that are sending you on this quantum journey, (laughs) but then also like be a part of it and singing it and being physically with it is, um, is what I like about it. See, I don't think there's any rational to it for me. It's just an emotion. Something comes out of a song, you know, or, um, touches me, whether it's the melody or the lyrics to it, or, um, <clears throat> maybe it can be just even a, a song that I heard as a child and reminds me of like memories back then. The why I can't explain to you, but there is music out there for every state of being, of feeling, of mind. And there's, it does not need any words. It does not need any explanation. As you say, it touches your soul directly. And when you're in a certain state and you hear the right piece of music, it can either completely amplify that or or it can calm your state or whatever but there is music out there that has no rational and no explanation for nothing and it just does the thing and i don't know why it's wonderful sebastian makes everyone laugh they enjoy either going out or sleeping after our concert he wants you to see them on the new day holiday tour el devo thanks for taking the time to talk with us today well thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that, my friends, is a Beyond the Mic Shortcut.